Welcome to Ask Hydro. Today, we're going to talk about how to install the E24 3.0 card. The E24 3.0 card offers increased versatility and reliability over the previous generation. To install this technology, follow proper lockout tagout procedures and then mount the control in a location where the motor cable reaches the connection header but does not strain the cable connector or header. Select the motor you will be using by matching the control settings to the motor in use. Turn switch 25 to the off position for a 100 watt motor. Turn it to the on position for maximum performance with a 125 watt motor. Set the current limit mode to low or high by setting switch 13 to off or on respectively. Using switches 21 through 24, select your speed using the E24 3.0 speed chart. Scan the QR code with your device to easily pull up the quick start guide with the speed chart included. Now, identify the type of braking required with switch 1-2. For dynamic braking, choose the off position. For a coasting stop, choose on. Now set the rotation. Set switch 1-1 to the on position for clockwise rotation and off for counterclockwise rotation. To connect a user I.O., reference the quick start guide you pulled up earlier using the QR code. When using E24 in conjunction with EasyLogic, attach the three-pin solenoid cable by aligning the pins and carefully applying pressure to secure the connection. Please note that rotating the three-pin solenoid cable to the left or right may damage the pins of the E24 3.0 card. You should now be able to install the E24 3.0 card. For more maintenance tips and information, contact your Hytrol Solutions provider.